Look at that! In this video, I'm doing a Born Pretty Haul 2019 and we're going to try out some Born Pretty nail art stamping plates. Let's go! Hey guys, it's Claris. Welcome back to my channel. And today, Born Pretty was kind enough to send me over a package of nail goodies. And just to let you know, I've never done stamping or dip powder nails before, so this will be new to me, but I'm so excited to learn and have gotten lots of helpful tips from friends, so thank you so much and let's dive right in. Alrighty, so this is the package. It's pretty small, but let's see what's inside. So first off, we have these two stamping plates and it has that blue film on the top, so I'm just going to peel that off. How to peel it off. Oh, look how reflective that is. You can see my camera. <laughs> so this is the plate L001, and it has these really neat like granite quartz designs. I really like those marbly designs. I'll put a, a video of my screen of the page for this product. So apparently this is one cent. That sounds really cheap. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is all about. And this is another stamping plate. Ugh, this is really hard to pull off. And this one is called Decoration L001. And it has some really fun designs. So it has some really cute flowers here at the top. What I'm really having my eye on is this really cute fern down here. Because I have a mani that I did on my Instagram that has a fern. And they were kind of hard to draw. So if I could get this to work, then I could just stamp it on. That'd be so much easier. And there's a really cute kitty right here. Wow. Okay. So... Alrighty, what else is inside? Next, I got this four-in-one holographic powder. So you can either do dipping, you can use a dual form, I think that's called, to form a nail. You can use, I think, Mortimer to make these little 3D flower accents, or you can rub it into the nail to make it have that mirror finish. So this is what it looks like. It's this very small little container, and wow, that is super holographic. <laughs> And I thought it would be fun to try this with the dip powder, although I will probably also try the mirror design of buffing this powder into the nail. So for the dip powder, I also got, let's see what else, okay, that's everything. I also got these three bottles for the dip powder system. So this first one is the base, and then we have the activator, and this is what will dry the layers of dip powder. And then this is the top or the top coat for that. Holographic dipping four in one nail powder. Whoa, look at that. It's so Halloween. Uh oh, I think this might make a little mess. So there were two different kinds of powders you could get. You could get the more chunkier one or you can get the super fine one. And I got the fine one. I think that I would like that fine look more, but this is super fine. So we have a bunch of new things to try out. I think it would be a little bit too much for me and a bit of a long video for you if I tried to review all these products in one video. So I'm going to divide this haul into two videos. The first one, I'm going to be doing stamping and specifically stamping with regular polish. What regular polishes work with these Born Pretty plates? And the second part, I'm going to be trying the dip powder system and using this four-in-one holographic powder. So then there will be two parts to the haul. And I also needed a stamper and a scraper. So I got this from Amazon separately. So this is the Moyo, Mo I don't know how to pronounce that, <laughs> London Nail Art Stamper and Scraper Marshmallow Sticky Transparent. Cool. If you happen to own this stamper, then you can let me know in the comments and tell me, do you like it? Do you hate it? So this scraper is really firm. One thing I know is it seems very firm. And then this is the stamper. Oh, it looks like it's coming out a little bit. But yeah, it does feel very sticky. And it's in this little middle stainless steel cup maybe. So I'm just going to push it back in there. And it comes in this really cute little packaging. So your best scraper. Hmm. So stamping with regular polish. I'm not sure I've actually shown you guys a view of all of my polishes because usually you only see like half of it, right? So I'm just going to go through and try out a bunch of my different polishes to see what works best. So I have some OPIs, I have a random Sally Hansen, I have an ILMP holographic polish, um, I have this white color club polish, which is opaque in one coat, and then I have a bunch of color club hollows. Then onto the second shelf, uh, all my base coats and top coats, I have a black polish, which is opaque in one coat, and then I have all my Essies. So I have a metallic here, pink, blues, greens, and purples. 
So right off the bat, I can tell you that these two polishes I use are opaque in one coat and they are kind of thicker, I guess you can say. So I think I'm going to try out these two for stamping. I think I'll also try an OPI because they do seem very good quality. And then also this SE Dark Purple is almost opaque in one coat, so I'll try that one as well. And just for some more variety, I'm also going to try this Sally Hansen Yellow and this purple color club hollow just to see if the hollows are good with stamping. And I haven't selected any metallics yet so I'm going to grab my SE metallic. So these are all the polishes I'm going to try out. Uh, maybe I won't try all of these, there's quite a bit here but so before I do any stamping on my actual nail, my nail art mat has this neat stamp testing area where there's black and white spots that you can practice stamping on. So that's what I'm going to do to start out until I get a hang of it, you know. Hello! <laughs> I'm going to start off with a lighter color. So this is French Tip by Color Club and it is opaque in one coat. I think I'm going to start off by doing the fern right here. So I'm going to apply some polish here, scrape it across and roll over. Oops, there's something a little bit smeary happened there. Uh, I'm not sure what that was. Let's see if this transfers. Oh, nope, that does not transfer. Let's try this Sally Hansen next. So I'm just going to put that right there. All right, it's probably, you probably can't see it, but it actually did pick up. Let's see if it will transfer. And no, it did not transfer. All right, well, I hope one of these polishes will work. <laughs> it almost transferred. Okay, maybe I wasn't fast enough. Do I have to be faster? <laughs> I'm going to try again, but with this plate to see and try to move faster and see if I can get it to work. I'm going to put that down, quickly scrape across, pick it up, and yes, that did pick up. Oh, look at that, guys! Look at that! Guys, look at that. It actually worked. Okay, so I was moving quite a bit faster and I somehow made that flower transfer a little bit. It could have been better in the fern that transferred, so wow. Okay, this metallic polish did work. I did have to move pretty fast though. I mean, I was like, <sighs> so yes, it did work. I just need to move pretty fast. So I'm going to keep that in mind as I move on. Next, I don't think I've ever seen anyone try stamping with a holographic polish, so this will be a little bit different. So I'm just going to do this design right here thing in particular. Scrape, pick up, and that picked up. Oh, that kind of transferred. Okay, guys, can you see that? It's, oh, it's not exactly right. There's still a little bit left on here, but you know, I'm just going to go ahead and try another one right now with the same polish. And that did transfer. Look at that. Holographic stamping. Did I invent something new? Probably not. So yeah, okay, I'm so excited, having some success here, finally. What polish have we not tried yet? We have not tried the Cert Colors Black Polish. I think we'll do some of these very interesting abstract ones over here. So, putting that, scraping it, picking it up. Ooh, and that did pick up. All right, uh, that transferred a little bit. Almost, almost there. I think I needed to move just a little bit faster. Scrape it, pick it up, and stamp. Oh, almost, uh, not, almost, almost, almost. So, again, I think I could have moved a little bit faster. So, I'm just painting that on, scraping it, stamping, and put it down. Oh, look at that, guys. Okay, it worked, it worked. Look at that super cute flower. Oh, I love that. So this polish, as we learned, also works. So now that I know that some of these work when you're moving really quickly, I'm gonna go back to trying this white one again because I really want a white polish that could work as stamping. Let's go back to this plate again. I'm gonna to try to work really quickly and see if I can get this white polish to work. Okay. Okay, that, that worked. I'd, I'd say that that worked. Um, there's still quite a bit of the design left on the stamper. That's really funny. 
So we found out that this Color Club hollow did work, but what about this ILMP holographic polish? This is a really pretty holographic glittery polish. And scrape, pick it up, oop. And that did not do as well. So it did pick up onto the stamper a little bit and then it transferred even less onto the paper. The paper? <laughs> the mat. I'm going to do the necklace again. Scrape, pick it up and transfer. Okay, I think I waited a little bit too long to transfer that because the necklace barely came out. Okay, I think I can do this. Let's do this even faster. Okay, yes, that finally worked. You see that fern right there? Oh, I picked up that flower next to it really pretty too. So I think that the key, the main takeaway I have for you with stamping with regular polish is move quickly. So have your stamper already cleaned um, of any residue from last time. Make sure your scraper is clean and just have everything ready so you can stamp as fast as possible and it seems to work. Look at that. Well, this was so much fun, but we haven't even tried the holographic powder yet. So hit the notification bell because in my next video, I'm going to try out the dipping powder and even try the mirror effect. So be sure to check back for part two of this haul next time. Also, if you want some more nail art inspiration, I have a huge playlist of nail art tutorials in the description, so feel free to go and check that out. Follow me on Instagram at thepolishqueen15 for almost daily posts featuring nail art I do in between videos and swatches. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it below. What do I do with this? Video for you if I tried to do, to review, to review all these products by this haul into two that lighting doesn't look good. This isn't even the right package. If you'd like to keep in touch, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. EST. Share this video with your friends and comment below, did you have fun watching me try different polishes for stamping? I look forward to seeing your comments and giving responses as well. Remember that a smile is the prettiest thing you can wear. So I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a magical day.